Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to pick up an acrylic bead. The different ways to do it, small, medium, large, um, how to angle your brush, things like that. I have, the only reason why I'm doing this video is because I've got a little bit of monomer left and obviously you can't put it back in your pot because of cross-contamination and I've just finished doing a video of an acrylic overlay on natural nails. So if you want to go and see that, it will be in my videos. It will be the last one I've done. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Okay, so let me lift you up slightly. When you have, firstly, if you have a new acrylic brush, it will be quite stiff. It will have um, kind of like wax stuff. So you need to really brush it down, do this, fling it all off, keep doing that for a while. You can also do this to break it in and then you would put it into the monomer and do that. This creates, if you don't push your brush, can you see the bubbles coming out? If you don't do that, when you, if you just dip it in like that and then wipe up the side, you and then put the acrylic on your nails, you will get bubbles in the acrylic, like air bubbles. So you push down and it brings all the bubbles up to the top, like that big one, just there, you can see it. So you put this in, push down, and now what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna, I'm gonna lift the brush straight up. So a soaking wet bead will look like this. So I've dipped my brush, lifted it up without doing anything, got a bead, and it's dripping off. That's because there is way too much monomer in your brush. So we're gonna put it in, lift up, and we're just gonna drag at the side of your monomer dish. We're going to angle the brush on an angle like this, okay? So we're not having it upwards, we're angling it. This will pick up a big bead. We're going to tap it three times and then we have one bead there. There we go, okay? So put it back in to get rid of your bubbles. Lift it up swipe if you don't want if you want a tiny bead you don't need too much monomer so we're going to do both sides wipe it that side turn it round wipe it that side and we're just going to go in and get a little bead just a small one okay there we go so back in push down to get rid of the air bubbles lift up and we're just going to wipe half the brush just up like that. So if you <clears throat> let me lift you up because you can't see this part because my brush is going to hit the camera. So down, push down, get rid of the bubbles, lift it out. Just swipe it up there slightly. As long as it's not dripping, you know, the liquid from the end of there isn't dripping back in, you should be okay. Swipe it up. So if I hold my brush straight up on an angle like this, you can get a bead, but it's not <clears throat> it's not very it's not very big. And it's quite liquidy. So flat, wipe. So hold your brush on an angle like this. This is only a small brush. Okay, let me do that again. So you can hold it up like that, like that, and then right up. So for a small bead, you would hold up, directly upwards like this. Okay. For a kind of like a bigger bead, you would have it more on an angle like this. Let me just shake that out. One, two, three. Okay. Bigger bead. You don't want to go like this and swipe because look what look what happened. The whole bead is pretty much covering up that brush. That's not what you want to do and it's really flat. You want to pop it in, get rid of those bubbles, wipe. Small one, you'll have it angled up more. Like up like this. 
in, get rid of those bubbles. Okay. The reason why, can you see how my brush is starting to fan outwards? I might wipe it, but then you might see me do that. And that is because I'm putting my brush back into a point slightly. That's not me wiping the monomer, that's just me getting rid of the fanning of the brush. So it doesn't look like that. So I've wiped and now I'm just putting it back into that shape. Okay. So, so for a bigger bead, we're going to angle it like this. We're going to dab one, dab two, and dab three. You don't want to swipe, okay? And that's the bead. And see how it's staying in place? It's not sliding to, you know, off the nail. It's not sliding anywhere. Okay, so we'll just leave that there. Smaller bead, you can straight up like this. You can still do it three times. One, two, three and you are going to get a, a small bead and that's not going to run anywhere either so we'll leave that one there so you always down get rid of the bubbles back up you just want to swipe your brush you've got hair on it I don't know where that's hair come from so bubbles Swipe up, I'm just going to put it back into a point slightly. You don't have to do that. I just prefer, I don't like my brush to be really fanned out. And for a bigger bead, which is what I always use really. One, two, three. You don't want to swipe. Okay. We're going to put that at the end of this. Because we haven't got any other room anywhere else. Okay. But see how it's not really going anywhere? It's not falling off. And if by any chance it is too dry, this one isn't, you just dip back in the monomer, swipe up on the side of your monomer dish, and just do that. So I'll show you what a dry bead looks like now. I love this colour, it's really pretty. Okay, so we'll pop that just there and we've got another one so a dry bead so what we're going to do is we're going to drain we're going to drain out too much of the brush we're going to wipe that side and then we're going to turn it round and we're going to wipe that side so i've actually got rid of a lot of monomer tap that one leave it in there for a bit longer two three and what will happen is flat because there's not enough monomer in there and you can't it won't come off see what it's doing it's just doing that because there's not enough liquid in there and then it starts to get stuck in your brush pop it back in the monomer pull up and you can fill this with more liquid but this wouldn't really be any good see and you see the residue that's left on there so let's do that again drain off Drain off. One, two, three. It's flat because there's not enough monomer in the brush and it won't come off your brush. It's just going to see how it's like sticking to the brush now because, okay, we're going to clean the brush as well so a wet bead we're going to put that in dab it off once we're not swiping we are tapping this is for a soaking wet bead put it in there tap do that and this is just too wet it's just going to run everywhere so we don't want that one soaking wet bead and it's just going to run everywhere so see how it's going on the edges now it's running to the edge so we get rid of that every time you pick up an acrylic bead you want to make sure you're cleaning your brush if you are doing this one two three if 
we're just laying an acrylic bead a little bit okay I'm gonna I shouldn't have done that then I shouldn't have wiped that's out of habit so let's do that again so we're gonna pick up a bead put it on there we're not even going to clean the brush because you know we're new we don't know how to do acrylic this is what this is about see that acrylic in there usually after laying an acrylic bead what you would do is you'd wipe not here not anywhere near that we would wipe on a clean part but I'm not going to I'm just going to go straight back in do that pick another bit of a bead up and now I'm going to start, I'm not going to wipe again, usually you'd wipe your brush off after. I'm not going to do that. I want to show you what happens when you don't keep wiping your brush. Right, now when we, I don't know if you can see. Which way is it? There is actually a lot of acrylic. Okay, yeah, you might be able to see it now if I fan it open. In a minute, you can't really see it now, but it's it's wet, that's why. This will dry and it will knacker your brush right up. And obviously acrylic brushes are quite expensive. So what you should be doing is doing this every time. Not too hard, but just a little bit. So I'm going to do this because it's quite oily, monomer is, and then we're going to wipe to get rid of that acrylic. I'm going to go in, swipe at the top. I haven't got much monomer left, so I can't pick up a big bead. But we're just going to spread this all over like that. Wipe, bit of monomer back in if we need to. Wipe. more acrylic, wipe, see that bit that just come off? If we didn't wipe then it would have got stuck in our brush. Wipe, more monomer, I mean I am running out. Wipe, oh hair. And that is how you keep your brush in good condition really don't get me wrong acrylic will stick in your brush at some point even you know nail techs that have been an nail tech for like 20 years plus they do get acrylic stuck in their brush so don't worry if you do I still do it now but yeah so you constantly wipe in your brush but what you don't want to do see all this bit here you don't want to obviously wipe over the top because there is monomer there there is acrylic there you're just going to be wiping this that's already on the paper towel back into your brush so always try and find a new space to wipe like a clean space if acrylic is stuck in your brush you you, you don't have to you shouldn't do this but I do it and this is my personal preference. You can leave it in monomer because monomer is quite oily so it will help get rid of that acrylic that's stuck. But I use, um, you can get brush cleaner as well from um, Nail Nails and places like that and it does get rid of acrylic, I just haven't got any. But I will use this. Um, it's got to have acetone in it. You can't really use something that hasn't got this acetone free because it won't get the, the monomer, um, the acrylic out of the brush. So it has to have acetone in it. So I use that. People say you shouldn't do that. It damages your brush, etc, etc. I've been doing it for a year and a half and my brushes have been fine. You just don't leave it in there too long. So I leave it in there for about two minutes. Then I wipe my brush off and then I pop it in monomer to put the oils back into the brush and then clean it. That's how I do mine because leaving it in monomer if you've got acrylic stuck in your brush 
I've had to leave it in there for about half an hour before and it was still in there. And then I'm I'm sat here with my brush like this and I'm pulling the acrylic out, which you don't want to do really. You, you can do it, but I don't like doing this because it does fan your brush out. Whereas using this, you do it does it within two minutes. But you shouldn't do that because apparently it ruins the brushes. I've done it and it's not ruined mine. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye.